22 um what's the best next gen so far yeah i like 22 yeah i think so too i like 22 22 was smooth Damn, I hit square. It's a party, it's a party, it's a party. I got you followed up. It's a holiday. It's a party, it's a party, it's a party. I ain't gonna cuss 2K out. Horrible. Huh, I guess Anonymous is supposed to go down there. Rebound. A rebound. This shit back to being slow. Damn, so the wreck is faster. I'm going over. Good. Good pinch. Bray switching. I'm over it. I'm going under the first one. Good teamwork. He reach. That's green. The wreck is faster, but this feels smoother. Like for a shooting for me. I like the speed of the wreck. Definitely moving a lot faster. The teamwork. Good shot. Good shot. Good shot. JG. Bully. Going under, nah. Good, good jump. Great box out. I see you, JG. <laughs> good pickup. <clears throat> Over. Great defense. Good. Great defense. Great teamwork. Mm. Hopping out. Sport rebound. That's green. Wow. It's like early. My ball. Good shot, good shot. Stay in the middle. Going under. Good teamwork. That's all. It's a decent shot. We don't got rebound. Oh shit. JD. <clears throat> Good swim. Over. Releasing. Great teamwork. Great teamwork. Sport rep. Good pass. My bad. I just won. That's it. Over. Good. I let him joke. I left him. I I won't do it no more.
Bad shot. Great shooter. Good steal. Bad shot. <laughs> Damn, why well, don't get the great shooter? Good shot, sport. Your box out. Good teamwork. <clears throat> Five for seven. One turnover. Seven assists. Eight rebounds. Nice. Nice. Keep it up. Keep it up. Looking good. That's what I like to see. It has never been harder to win than right now. Why? Because every single day, you are frying your brain. You are killing your attention span and you are killing your focus. You're killing your testosterone. And because of all of that, you are killing your success. The average person has a worse attention span than a goldfish, and that's who you're competing against. So on the good news, that means that just with the tiniest bit of discipline and work ethic, you are already ahead of 90% of people. And before we even begin, you need to understand that your ability to control your urges is directly correlated to your success or lack thereof. If you cannot control yourself, if you cannot be disciplined, you will never be successful. It is simply impossible. And that is why it's so important for you to master your urges. And all of that starts with desexualizing your brain so that you are no longer ruled by your primate brain. So today I'm going to give you the only six steps you need to desexualize your brain and regain control of your life because it's having that very control over your mind, your body, and your life that will ultimately lead you to success. Now, here's the interesting part. Truly desexualizing your brain actually has very little to do with sex and has everything to do with something else, but I will get to that a little later in the video. So for now, let's get into it. The first step is to stop watching porn. First and foremost, you need to stop watching porn. Now, listen, this may sound obvious, yet 99% of young people simply cannot stop. I would say that watching porn is by far the worst way which you sexualize your brain. And let me explain to you why. You see, the problem isn't just the amount of time that you spend watching porn. I mean, sure, if you stopped, you'd have an extra hour per week or something like that, but that's just a very minuscule side effect compared to the rest. You see, porn literally fries your brain and robs you of focus. Don't believe me? Just look at the science. There have been multiple studies that link porn usage to the erosion of your prefrontal cortex. You know, that part of your brain that regulates your emotions, your actions, and more importantly, your impulse control and willpower. But that is just the tip of the iceberg. There is a laundry list of negative side effects that have been linked to porn use. Why? Because porn use has similar effects on the brain as substance abuse. Porn has been linked to issues like decreased focus and increased anxiety and depression. Now, as if these problems weren't big enough, porn has also been linked to trouble in long-term relationships and of course, impotency. In fact, there is an epidemic of young men who are experiencing sexual issues like erectile dysfunction because their brain has been rewired. It's unfortunate because these young men have consumed so much porn that their neural pathways have literally changed. I mean, they've effectively trained themselves to be aroused by watching others do the deed instead of doing it themselves. And porn users even reported that they are less satisfied with their lives than their counterparts who don't watch porn. Now, the second step in desexualizing your brain goes hand in hand with quitting porn. And that is, you need to stop pleasuring yourself. Look, I understand it's addictive and I understand that it's been normalized in today's day and age, but there is nothing healthy or normal about it. And not even because the very act is so terrible as it is with porn, it's actually just because of the consequences of it. You see, every time you do it, your dopamine surges. I mean, you're pretty much signaling to your brain that you have accomplished what is supposed to be man's highest goal, 
to procreate. You are essentially telling your brain that you've done the most important thing you'll do all day. Now, of course, you and I both know that that's not true, but the neurons firing in your brain do not. And that is why you are rewarded for it. That is why it's cheap dopamine, because you are tricking your own brain into giving you dopamine you have not earned. And that's why your ability to focus and your ability to do hard things plummets. Because how do you think that the real world will stack up to the dopamine and other chemical releases that you're getting from doing the very thing we have been evolutionarily designed to do? Well, the answer is, it won't stack up at all. I mean, no wonder you can't focus when your dopamine receptors are so fried. This is why you can't focus. I mean, listen, of course, everything else will feel boring when you've just done the dirty business. And this is why you need to stop. So you ask yourself, why do so many young men keep doing it? Because they are addicted. They are addicted to cheap dopamine in the exact same way that people get addicted to drugs. I mean, in fact, port and masturbation are the most difficult addictions to break. Why? Because of the insane dopamine spike that is caused by it. So real quick, let's just look at the data. If you eat a delicious burger or some other carb filled meal, your dopamine levels will spike by 100%. Now, if you smoke or get some other form of nicotine, your dopamine will spike by 200%. Whereas porn and masturbation boosts your dopamine by over 250%. The exact same as sex. Now, Here's the key difference. Porn and masturbation will then make your dopamine levels fall way below baseline. And that's where those lethargic feelings come from after. That's the exact same dopamine curve you get from drugs. So then that really starts to beg the question, how the hell do you stop? And here is where it gets interesting. You see, an addiction to porn and masturbation isn't actually rooted in anything sexual at all. And that leads us onto the third step of how you can desexualize your brain. Number three, purpose. Now they actually did a study where they tried to figure out what causes these addictions. And the answer may surprise you. You see, it wasn't actually any form of perversion. It wasn't childhood trauma. It wasn't extraordinary libido. Instead, it was something far simpler, far more rudimentary. It was meaninglessness. Simply put, if you don't have a purpose, if you don't have a goal, if you don't have something that you are striving towards, then you are more likely to devolve in these addictions. Now, the good news is it's fixable. Every man should have that purpose, that North Star that drives him forward. You simply need something better to do with your time than give in to your urges. What that something is will depend on the person. Now, from an early age, we are taught that we need a good college education and a corporate job as though that's somehow gonna fulfill us. But we both know that that's definitely not true, is it? In fact, that's not true at all. And from October 30th to November 6th, I'm gonna expose how and why you have been indoctrinated to believe this. And most importantly, I'm gonna show you how to escape their indoctrination and earn back your freedom. So if you wanna be a part of that free online event, then sign up with the link below. Anyways, we all need something to guide us. For some, it'll be starting a business. For others, it might be something entirely different. I can tell you that for me personally, my North Star was to be able to take care of my mom and my loved ones. And that is why I went into business because I had that North Star to guide me. And honestly, without that North Star, I can confidently say that I would have given up because the money isn't enough to keep you going. You need that North Star. You need that why that purpose. But even then, once you have your purpose, you may still slip up. Why? Because there are triggers out there that cause you to do so. And this leads into our fourth step in desexualizing your brain. Step number four, stop watching soft porn. You see, soft porn can be just as bad as porn because it's everywhere. Everywhere you look, there are half naked girls. I mean, you scroll endlessly through TikTok and Instagram, and the algorithm is reinforced by your desire to look at these girls. And that is why I need you to unfollow all of the Instagram models, unfollow all the TikTok girls that do their little dances because they are eating away at your focus. They are destroying your future. And it may seem minuscule to you, but it's not. You see, most of the time, you don't just randomly decide to watch porn there is a trigger. And that's why the best way to quit porn is by eliminating the triggers that make you watch it. And that means 
you need to also stop watching soft porn. And every time the algorithm shows you half naked girls, simply click not interested. Train the algorithm to not show you those things. And listen, of course, the best case scenario is you just quit TikTok and Instagram altogether. Because really, at the end of the day, you have no business looking at memes or whatever else if you are not where you want to be in life. And if these social media platforms don't directly help your business. But in any case, the next step you need to take in order to desexualize your brain is to focus inward and not outward. You see, the biggest problem with the sexualization of your brain stems from the changes that are happening in your dopamine system. The sexualization of your brain impairs your ability to do hard work because your brain becomes so used to cheap dopamine. And that's why the next step requires you to learn delayed gratification. Instead of constantly looking outwards for stimulus and dopamine, you need to learn to look inward. Now, you might be asking, what does that actually mean? It means that 99% of people get their so called happiness by doing fun things, whether those things be as sinister as porn or as innocent as chocolate. But if you truly want to be successful, that cannot be you. Now, I'm not saying that you need to cut every single source of dopamine from your life, but you definitely need to think about what's helping you and what's hurting you. And over the years, I routinely do a dopamine detox. This is where for a certain amount of time, usually between 24 to 72 hours, you do nothing, no food, no phone, not even books or music, and certainly no porn, just complete stillness. You need to become used to finding peace without these external stimuli, because the goal is for you to be so fulfilled by your work that you eventually get those same dopamine releases by doing hard things. You see, dopamine is nothing but a reward system. It's the way that your brain has evolved to reinforce behaviors that will increase your chances of survival. And that is why sex spikes your dopamine so much because without procreation, I mean, we wouldn't exist. But in today's world, social media and food has hijacked those same systems. And that is why it is your job to regain your control over them. So stop seeking cheap dopamine externally and instead look inward. And that is how you desexualize your brain and realign your actions with your goals. Now, the final thing is you need to stop chasing women and build yourself first. Listen, you will never be able to truly focus inward if you are constantly chasing women. If you're texting this girl, meeting up with that girl, also while thinking about some other girls, you will never be focused. That is not how you desexualize your brain, which is exactly why I always say that you need to stop chasing women and build yourself up first. The best part is when you do eventually build yourself into a man of substance, the women just inevitably come to you. But until you get to that level, chasing women is just a massive waste of time. Unless it's your day one girl, unless you know, hey, this girl, this will be my future wife. But if that isn't you, it's a waste of time for two reasons. Number one, the quality of women you can get at the beginning of your journey is nothing compared to what you'll be able to get later down the line. You see, women date up in the social hierarchy, which means the best quality women will inevitably end up with the best quality men. So that's why you need to spend time molding yourself to be the best version of yourself that you could possibly be. And I'm not only talking about just money here, by the way. Now, the second reason it's a waste is because if you somehow manage to get a high quality girl, the amount of effort and time that it will take you is massive. So you really need to analyze the opportunity cost here because going on a date with a girl, spending a hundred dollars or a few hundred bucks to try to impress her has far greater complications. Look, I'm not saying you should be an antisocial weirdo, but you need to set your priorities straight. Listen, in the same way that they tell you to put on your own oxygen mask first in the plane, you need to be able to hold your own before you let someone else into your life. Because listen, at the end of the day, Dating is a massive distraction. And you're, when you're first getting started in your business or your career, you'll need all the time and focus that you can muster because no step of the journey is harder than the first one. And that is why you need undivided attention. I mean, listen, after all, you just need one to three years of pure focus and then you can live a normal life again. But you need to be willing to make that sacrifice. Because let me tell you something, if you are constantly thinking about this girl and that girl and which girl to see tonight, there's no way that you will be able to desexualize your brain and channel your focus into what really matters. And once you channel your focus into what really matters, everything else will fall into place. So just focus on yourself first. So gentlemen, pick yourself up, focus on the right things. And as always, I'll be watching from afar and I'm rooting for you. It is something else.
four steals. <laughs> Six, three, four, four. Zero turnover, two for two. That's nice. That's why you got to play the game. Cause I thought it should have been me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, dog? Come on, man.